And I only wear gloves because my wife doesn't like me coming home. <coughs> Most of the time, my hands are blue and green and weird colors. This stuff, because it started off in the world of flooring, they sort of fabricated it for use with a 13-inch flooring applicator using Scotch-Brite pads as the applicator. And that sort of stuck through all of the product. And in this, you can see how much finish I have in my little scotch break. Not a whole hell of a lot. And I'll probably be able to do most of the surface of this butcher block. Might need one more application. But you've basically got to work it in like you're doing a French polish or a varnish. Competitors in Europe, a product out of Belgium, out of England, um, out of France. There's Libos, Waco, uh, Rubio. They are all the wannabes. This was the first one on the market and is the grandfather of hard wax oil finishes. Now you see, I haven't added any more finish. I'm just working it in. And I still have a little excess sitting here on the surface. And then basically take a lens free paper towel or your wife's old nighty or something, a t shirt. <laughs> Yeah, not the curtains of uh, about this around. Uh, and then just wipe it back so that there's no visible residue on the surface. And that's your first coat. Finished. Done. Leave that sit for eight to ten hours. And then you put the second coat on, rub it in the same <coughs> way, wipe it back the same way, and you're done. You'll end up like that ash piece that's floating around or these other pieces. And that's food grade safe, so there's no This is, yeah, this is actually in the process of um, being FDA certified. But it is, they use this on children's toys in Europe, to, you know, those wooden <coughs> chew toys. So if you're doing, <laughs> if you're doing it on a, on a butcher block and it gets washed or whatever, no issue with it, you just touch no. it up. It'll be, all oil finishes, whether it's a, a tongue oil, linseed oil, um, the hard wax oils, generally, this will be dry in eight to ten hours for working. It'll be dry and hard in about five days. Twenty-three days is a full cure cycle mm -hmm. for any of these oils, especially when you get into tongue oils and uh, and linseed oil finishes. And all of your Danish oils, your tongue oil finishes, and your other linseed oil-based form finishes are a mixture of those base oils and uh, soya oils or resins, mm -hmm. the alkids that are from that. This butcher block was done two years ago with the Millies, which is a tongue oil and beeswax finish with um, a lemon um, citric acid, basically, as a solvent. So this is considered a botanical product. It penetrates really deep, but you still need about three, maybe four coats of it. Let it soak in and wipe it off. But it, it also forms a nice hard waterproof finish and it's also repairable. So in finishing, it really depends on what you're comfortable with using, how much effort and work you want to put into it, how easily you want it to be repairable. This hard wax oil is a little more easily repairable than most of the other families of finishes. Um, on this piece, I've got a piece of curly maple here. I'm going to take one of my little sample packets of black ebony and I'll do a little experiment. He's going to have a lot of it. He's going to ruin it. Do I dirty my brush?
brush now. Squirt. Flying across the Just one package and let's put on the outside. Get it back, then. No, I get the dirty hands. Just give me gloves or anything, you know? That was only sent at the one he. Today. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. So basically, all finishes, I don't care what it is, except for maybe a lacquer, uh, but even there. Um, most people sand the wood way too fine, so they end up burnishing the surface of the wood, and there's no open pores and fiber for the actual finish to adhere to. So generally speaking, when you're doing floors, 120 is considered fine. In doing butcher blocks and furniture, 180 is sort of the norm. Um, if you're really OCD, you can take it to about 220. Yeah. One coat can be relatively transparent in any of the colors and you just add some, no, some nice color. Or makes it very distressed. You can do it Burn so that it's, more if I do one coat with a brush and leave it sort of even <coughs> next day, another eight hours, and do it with the, another coat and you can be pitch black. So this is the finish that's Suggested for wood turners for wood turned products. Let's say a lamp, a vase, something that you're not necessarily going to eat food in. And if you were going to eat food under it, you can apply this on the lathe and then put one coat in the top oil on, on top of it. This is the pure, the Osmo Polyax Oil Pure, which is 99% solids. And this is the one that is LEED certified for LEED building construction. And as you can see, it's thicker, goopier, because it's mostly solids. A little harder to put on because of the level of solids. It's sticky like a thin wax. And you really have to work it on so that on a spinning piece of work on your lathe, it works actually really well. I've used this on salad bowls as the first coat and then put the top oil on one or two coats above it. I've never really done more than three coats of anything. You wouldn't last in this club. Did you do that, kid? Why? You're supposed to use more. <laughs> more, is, more is better in some ways. Maybe we're doing 15 <laughs> coats of CA finish. Yeah, that's one thing. <coughs> It's a big table, there. It's too much effort, way too much effort. Because of the higher solids in this product, you get a little bit more of the chatoyance, the light reflectance from the grain in the wood coming out a bit quicker. Because it is higher in solids, it's filling the pores a little more fully on the first coat. I know, Peter's probably never seen me work before. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I'm just at a computer paying bills or something. I'm just letting him do it. And 
again. So work it in and wipe it off. And first coat's finished. It looks really nice. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. Same time frame to dry? The side might come off. Think so? Mm -hmm. Test it. No. <laughs> well, how long for that to dry? Eight to ten hours. Eight to ten hours. Okay. Yeah. What's the name of it again? The product, the whole brand is Osmo. O S M O. And the product lines are the top oil, which comes clear, which is a satin. And actually, I should put on the. The natural, which is whatever it is, that's what you get. This is the natural, yeah. Uh, right, that's the clear, that's the satin on that. And I put the satin on the first coat on this cutting board. No, this is a finish. Yeah. This is a finish. Now, you. can you use other products of a, a stain and then put that on? No. The other issue that in lifestyle that people get involved with is you have to, if you're using oil stains, you need oil finishes. If you're using a wax oil combined product, you can take, they have little jars like this, of all of these different colors and pigments, and you can put that into the clear product and create your color if you want. So if you're doing a floor, they'll take the two and a half liters, and they'll put one of these in two and a half liters, and then they'll basically spatula it or use this little brush 